The world is full of amazing and terrifying things alike, yet the terrifying things can often stand out to us more, and that is most apparent when we think about the unique ways we can die. Topping people's lists may include things like being buried or alive or drowning, and indeed those would be horrendous, but there are perhaps even more excruciating ways to go that you may never have thought of. Here are some of the worst we have found. Radiation poisoning happens when you receive a large amount of radiation over time, which is known as chronic, or in one large dose, which is known as acute. Hisashi Uchi, a worker on an experimental reactor in the Ibaraki prefecture of Japan, suffered from such a fate. Uchi and two co-workers have been asked to mix enriched uranium with nitric acid, ensuring all safety procedures and mixing it in a stainless steel bucket. The three workers who carried out the operation reported seeing a blue flash before collapsing with nausea. Uchi suffered radiation burns over most of his body, as well as damage to his internal organs. On day 58, he went into cardiac arrest due to low oxygen levels, but was revived by medics. Uchi died 83 days after his initial radiation dose of another heart attack. If you're going to get eaten by a large predator, and we realise you probably won't have a lot of choice in the matter, try not to make it a hyena. Predators like lions will generally try to take down prey quickly, snapping their neck or suffocating it using their jaws on the prey's throat. Hyenas have a much more brutal technique, resulting in the animal watching as they are torn apart and eaten. The whole gathering of hyenas breaks off from the hunt, falls upon the victim and devours it, ripping up the belly and starting with the soft internal organs while the victim is still alive. Attacks on humans are of course rare, so you can avoid this death by merely not being a zebra, but attacks do occasionally happen to humans, particularly children and the elderly. Drowning, according to those who have experienced it and come back to tell the tale, generally involves panic and pain, followed by a feeling of peace and tranquility, likely caused by a lack of oxygen. You might not feel so peaceful and tranquil, of course, if the substance you are drowning in happens to be poop. This happened to a group of nobles in July 1184, when they met to resolve a conflict in St. Peter's Church in Erfurt. The event's organisers did not take into account the weight involved in such a large gathering, where many of the attendees were in heavy chainmail. The floor gave way, plunging most of them into the cesspool below, and 60 to 100 people drowned in monk excrement and pee. In 2015, a man from Colombia died after his tapeworm got cancer, and the cancerous cells from the worm spread around his body. The 41-year-old, who was HIV positive, began suffering fatigue and weight loss over several months, as well as fever and a cough. CT scans showed that his lungs and liver were filled with tumours of unusual kind. They were about 10 times smaller than the medics expected. West of Utah Lake, there is a cave with the innocuous name of Natty Putty. The cave was named after the viscous clay on its walls, which oozed and felt a little like silly putty when it was pushed. There were concerns about the cave before John Edward Jones and his brother Josh visited in November 2009. Unfortunately, the two got lost and found themselves in an unmapped part of the cave. John spotted an opening, angled 70 degrees downwards and began to crawl inside. He believed he'd seen an opening on the other side, but he was incorrect as he wormed his way in inch by inch. He became wedged in there with no way of getting himself back out the way he came. The next day, rescuers tried to retrieve him as he lay face down in the passage. The position he was in put great strain on his heart to pump blood out of the brain, which is usually assisted by gravity. Rescuers tried to get him out using a pulley system, but eventually it came loose and failed. After 27 hours, John died due to cardiac arrest. A week after his death, the caves were sealed for good, with John still inside where he remains to this day.